I want to show you some of the highlights that are that have been redone here at Conconella State Park. This is one of the most beautiful parks in all of Washington State, in my opinion. Of course, I could be a little biased because while well, I grew up here, you know, this state's a, this park is always green, it's always trimmed, and it's usually always filled with people. This is the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, and there's the playground right there. There's a new shelter. Now, a lot of people think that all this stuff is the government comes in and and, and and does whatever they can do to make it look pretty. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not the government that makes this place look good. It's the ranger that's been here for the last 15 years. His name is Ranger Layton. He deserves all the credit for making this park what it is today. And what I've seen is pristine. There's no other place that I think I would rather be. You know, when I when I came when I came here this morning, there was this whole field here. This whole field was filled with ducks. Right across the road, where that where that hillside is right there, there were deer all along that hillside. Until one of the the roving local dogs decided to come in here and chase the deer and then came into the park, which has a leash law, came into the park, chased away all the ducks. This whole expansive field was filled with ducks. There must have been 300 mallards that were there. This is the wading pool. Now, this wading pool has been here as long as I can remember. Now, way back early in the 70s, there used to be an actual swimming pool here where they had went in and had a diving board, and go around swimming. But <clears throat> I believe one of, the, one of the kids died there, hit his head or something, and he died. So that was the end of that. But as you can see, the lake is getting really full, and it's almost at capacity right now. And uh, as soon as it hits capacity, it'll go over the spillway, which goes down to the Okanagan River. Let me see if I can focus in on the spillway here. Right over there, you can barely see it. The water gets there, and that's Salmon Creek. It goes all the way down to the Okanagan River. And you can see the campers are already starting to fill in here. Um, it's going to be a rainy weekend, so I don't know how how the uh, customer situation is going to be. But I got to tell you, if you guys want a place to go fishing, hunting, snowmobiling, ATV riding, motorcycle riding, whatever you want to do up there in them hills, we are in the edge of the Satan wilderness. You go around this lower lake and you continue following them roads around, it splits off into just places that just go all out in them mountains. Little Peacock, Big Peacock, Old Baldies up there. Yeah, you can go all the way around, you can get lost in them mountains. I gotta tell you what, I haven't seen no more beautiful park than this one right here. Got all new facilities, ranger station has changed, I mean, Ranger Layton has done an excellent job. And he deserves all the, res all the respect and all the admiration for putting in the new bathroom facilities, taking out the old caveman facilities that were over there. And I remember those caveman facilities. I painted them many times when I worked for the park when I was about 16. And right now, what he's done, he's put in all new blacktop. He's put in a whole new parking area around here. It looks like, looks like a rest area. I mean, this place is phenomenal. There's no other place I would rather be at any time in the world. 
to go in here and oh looks like somebody's in here working look at that it's ranger layton hey, hey how are you <laughs> good. Yeah, good this is the man who deserves all the respect right here for for making the park the way it is today did you get that water leak fixed well i got the problem identified got the problem identified Rock and roll. Yep, the last 15 years, this guy right here changed bathrooms from being over there to over here. New facilities in the inside. This is a unisex bathroom. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Look at that. Showers and everything. Yep, this is, this is the stuff, man. Definitely. You want a vacation? You want to experience the great outdoors? This is the place to do it. In town? Town's only three blocks long. You got plenty of wildlife right here in town. You ain't got to go out in the, out, out in the mountains to see it. It'll... it'll it, you'll wake up one morning and this whole field here will be filled with deer and 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 geese when the geese are flying yep they all stop right here at this park and they hang out but if you want to go snowmobiling want to go bike riding horseback riding camping fishing anything you want there's 900 lakes in Okanagan County that's right, Okanagan County alone. Okanagan County is the largest county in Washington State, third largest in the country. That's right, third largest in the country. It encompasses half the Pasayton Wilderness. And it's Okanagan County, it's God's country. There ain't no other place you'd wanna be. Anyhow, I sit here by the by the bell here in the state park with the new bathroom facilities behind me, spick and span, all due to Ranger Layton. Because there's, the government just doesn't give you money to do things. You have to request it. A lot of red tape, a lot of special stuff you have to fill out. There ain't no other man in the world that I can see would have done as good a job with this park as Ryan Layton, one of the best rangers in the world that I've ever seen, one of the nicest guys. Man, I'm proud to call my friend. Very impressive what he's done. Growing up, he's, uh, he's done a great thing for my childhood because this park is nothing like what it used to be. This town, nothing like what it used to be. This whole park here, raining or not, would be filled, filled with people. There, would, there wouldn't be a space. There wouldn't be walking room for the parades going up and down the street. It's changed. It's changed. There's no more RV parks. All we got is a state park. It's all been privatized. That's right. All the small RV parks that were in town, that this town used to run off of, all gone. They've all been chopped up, sold to private parties, so they can have their own little hunting area, their second cabin. Their second cabin out here, middle of anywhere, you know. Come to whenever they want. Deprive everybody else of this beautiful town, but one vestige still remains for the campers. Conconelli State Park and uh, I guarantee you once you come here you're gonna understand what I'm talking about I'm walking out here in the rain and I'm enjoying every minute of it even though I'm the desert artist god damn I love my rain it's been raining here for about three days straight there were I think there was one or two day period where it didn't rain but for the rest of it, it's been pretty much raining. It's pretty unusual for the dry side of the mountains. But uh, 
hopefully the lake doesn't get up uh, too much further because uh, this lake gets up a little bit further this whole field right in here where all those campers are at it's probably gonna flood up and get filled with a little bit of water uh, like here be little, little puddles of water here and little puddles of water there hopefully they'll be able to dredge dredge the lake soon and be able to get some more acreage foot water in there uh, right now it's uh, water level height is pretty much um, restricted to the level of the spillway because of uh, because of uh, the what they need here I mean there's a lot of irrigation that goes on south down by the Scotch Creek wildlife area but uh, needs water anyhow just thought I'd uh, give you guys a short little synopsis of a uh, of a uh, County Canale State Park and you know I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a couple a couple more videos put up with uh, how illegal poaching affects our wildlife here in town and the way that people view the hunters people way the view wildlife conservation and something personal I gotta tell you hunters out there I don't mind y'all hunting but god damn it don't don't hunt in the state park don't do it you sorry it's close to my heart and my soul being able to come down here at any time and watch the deer out here playing play in the play in the park and out in the fields like the children do <sighs> Ryan was down here almost 20 hours a day watching them deer there was two bucks here right here right here in this field had a whole mess of dough he left for 20 minutes to go home for lunch Mr. Dallas Covey another man I grew up with hopefully I run into him I haven't seen him in many years um, sorry I'm getting teary eyed um, and it is illegal to hunt in a state park I don't know if y'all are familiar with that but it is now it's uh no firearms in town either and uh, people in town some of the locals catch you hunting they'll string you up they'll string you up that's right these deer are considered pets in this town they come in they're fed even though we're not supposed to feed them there's still people in town that feed them and they're not gonna listen they're still gonna feed them because they think it doesn't hurt them but I'm gonna tell you the deer they know how to survive you don't have to go out there and you don't have to feed them you don't have to toss corn out your window because they'll attack you that's right they'll attack you because they think you got food and you're gonna feed them and you got a pet guess what better be on a leash you know why because them deer will kill it that's right just like donkeys will kill a coyote just like donkeys will kill a coyote these deer will stomp to death your dog I don't know if you're familiar with deer feet but they're pretty sharp and them deer can jump up and down pretty quick and uh, definitely definitely keep your pets on a leash even even having them on a leash isn't a guarantee that they will not attack you that's right they are dangerous they're cute they're fuzzy and they eat grass hey guess what they're still dangerous and if you're a real hunter if you're a real hunter go out in the woods walk through the woods and catch your meal don't expect to shoot it in town don't expect to shoot it from the road be a real man go out and get it for yourself it's the only way you're gonna get my respect you're not gonna get any respect for shooting it in town with a bow and arrow in the fucking state park not happening that's right I said the F word I dropped the bomb but you know what I have the right I have the right because that ain't right if you're gonna go out and you have the balls to carry a bow and an arrow or a gun go out in the mountains work for your food don't expect it to walk up to you be a man 
be a woman. But if you're going to be anything, do it with respect. Respect all that respects you. You walk into this park, all the wild animals, they run away because they respect you. They know that you're a danger to them. And just like these ducks right here, just like these ducks are swimming away because I walked up to the edge of the lake. The only reason they're swimming away is because that big dog chased them all. Each time you come, Mr. Layton is definitely going to make it better. And it's not through anybody's hard work, but his. When you come here, tell him you saw my video. He would really appreciate it. Better yet, I'd even appreciate it. Anyhow, that's a takeoff. So I close my video here.